Hey everyone, in this video I want to talk about designing for embroidery, more specifically designing for embroidery with Printify. Now here I am on Printify, I'm going to go to a catalog here and you'll notice embroidery here, you can see by Comfort Colors and this is the one that's trending, a lot of people are using this for the embroidery but uh, if you notice there's a bunch of other stuff you can do embroidery on tees and hats and hoodies and Look at all these products. There's actually three pages worth of products. So I'm going to go back to the comfort color since that's the one that's trending right now. I'm going to click on here and you can see the option to do either DTG direct to garment or embroidery, which is what we're talking about today. One of the ways to find the guidelines on this, because you might be wondering like, what are the limitations to this? How big do you have to make it? What kinds of things can you do? What colors? So I'm going to go to more about digitization right here. And it's kind of telling you some of the things. Uh, right now, the digitization fee is free for a limited time. So that may go up in the future, but that's nice that it's uh, not. And then if you hit these guidelines, it will take you here on some other things. So uh, this is really important, minimum thickness of line. So you don't want to look, uh, you don't want to use designs that have very thin lines. That might not work out. So uh, here's some do's and don'ts. Don't use gradients. Don't do kind of this you see the very thin line you can better to fill it in and uh, better to better to be more vector based and instead of this and that kind of thing and then the colors right here well this is another one uh, instead of gradients instead of all that um, background it's just telling you to use that and this one right here what colors can I use they have a set of colors right here I believe it's uh, 15 colors and, but you can only use six at a time per design. So there you go, the, that's embroidery on Printify. Now make sure you use the right colors, make sure it's the right thickness and everything. But I, I think other than that, uh, you can have, you can make so many different things. Uh, thanks again for watching. And as always guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one.